This is just a quick video on how to fix the color of a Dell XPS 15 in Linux. So with the Dell XPS 15, there's a lot of issues in Windows and Linux of oversaturated color. And it's really obnoxious to me. And so I'm sure it's obnoxious to somebody else. And I'm just gonna show you how to fix that real quick. So I'm using KDE. I believe this works in GNOME as well, but it's gonna be just a slightly different process but this is only for KDE right now. So basically you're gonna go into your KDE desktop here and you're gonna to go to the settings, the system settings. And here on the left, you should have color corrections. If you don't have KDE color corrections, all you have to do is Google it real quick or DuckDuckGo or whatever you're using. Um, for me, I'm using Gentoo, so I can just, I know it's color D KDE, and this is the package that you need on Gentoo. KDE miss slash color D dash KDE. And if you just install that, then it'll be here in the left column. On most distros, it's going to be here already. I believe on Arch, you might also need to install it to have it show up. Um, and then once you do that, you just reopen system settings. So, for example, if it was already open, just close it again, reopen it, and then go to color corrections here. In the color corrections, you're going to see uh, your laptop here, the Dell XPS 15, I have the 9500. And it might have an arrow here for drop down and it might not. But regardless, here in the right column, you're going to see you need GNOME color management installed in order to calibrate devices. So that's the next thing that you're going to have to install. And the same with that, uh, just for your distro. So I'm just going to say Gen 2 GNOME color management. And right here, you can see color management and the GNOME color manager. And this is exactly what you need. So GNOME-extra slash GNOME-color-manager. Just install that and you'll be good to go. And once again, just close the system settings, reopen system settings, and you'll be back to color corrections. And then you should have this drop down, and it should be at default XPS 15 9500. You may have some other things listed here. That's fine. Just make sure this is the one that's selected. So just mark this little box here. And that's basically it for that. And then uh, we're going to go into Firefox. I'm just assuming you're using Firefox here. If you're using Chromium, I believe that you don't need to change anything. Uh, I could be incorrect on that, but I believe that's how it is on my system. And I just pick something that I know the color is off. So for example, this yoga mat, I know I own this yoga mat and it's definitely not a teal green. It's a much lighter color green. So this is just oversaturated. So in order to change that in Firefox now, we're gonna have to go to about colon config and then you'll get this menu. If you've never been here before in Firefox, you're gonna have to get like a warning message and you'll have to click through that, but then you'll get to here. And in this search box, in this search box at the top, just type gfx.color. And then here, gfx.color management enable v4, set that to true. And gfx color management.mode, you need to change this to one. Then close Firefox, come back in, go back to the page that you were testing on. And now you can see it's a completely different green. So just to show you the difference here, I'll open a screenshot I took earlier of the same thing and we compare that. So you can see here, this one, this one here on the right is teal and this one on the left is the real green color that it actually is. And that's it. Now you, if you um, didn't see that right away and you had just done the color panel here, the color corrections in KDE, restart your computer first. You're gonna to need to restart your computer to see these changes. In my case, I had these uh, oversaturated colors in every application on the desktop, not just Firefox, but all throughout. And just restart doing this and then restarting the computer fix that issue. So that should be it. So thank you for watching. If you're on GNOME, I believe that it's a very similar issue. Just install the GNOME color management and do those things in Firefox and everything should be good to go. So thank you for watching and have a good day. Enjoy your new 
correctly colored monitor. 